We have now come to the end of the fourth course, and indeed, the end of the learning experience, DeFi and the future of finance. Let me give you a few thoughts about how I see this technology playing out. First, perspective is very important. I believe that the model of finance has changed very little over the past century. We have the same commercial banks, the same brokerages, the same insurance companies, and the same central banks. Remember I showed you one of the first Western Union wire transfers from 150 years ago with a 3% fee? Very little has changed. Of course, many tasks have been digitized. However, what I'm talking about is the basic infrastructure. Yes, there have been some improvements. The current wave of fintech has reduced costs, increased inclusion to some degree, but beware. I believe that the current wave of fintech is likely fleeting. Consider a quote from a highly respected guest speaker in my live course. The current fintech, like plaid and stripe, is like putting lipstick on a pig. What does this mean? Well, most of the current fintech uses the traditional centralized architecture. Yes, it usually leads to reduced costs for those that are banked, but it does not fully address the fundamental problems that we detailed in these courses. Inefficiency, lack of inclusion, opacity, centralized control, and limits to interoperability. As such, it is likely that the current fintech will eventually be replaced by decentralized finance. So let's end where we began, with the word cloud. At the very beginning of the learning experience, I showed this cloud. And at the end of each course, we checked off the terms that we had explored. Indeed, we've covered all of the words. However, even though you now have an understanding of these words, I want to challenge you. We have scratched the surface of some of these words. There is so much more to learn, and it's really important to know what you don't know. For you, going ahead, there are two challenges that you face in the world of DeFi. First, you must invest more time to better understand some of the key concepts. Second, the technology is moving at such a pace that you must continually invest time keeping up with the latest advances. Again, perspective is also important. DeFi will have plenty of ups and downs. This is no surprise and it is a characteristic of any emerging technology, independent of DeFi. During the down periods, don't be discouraged and abandon the technology. Indeed, you should view it differently. It is an opportunity to enter. Interestingly, when the prices of cryptos plummeted by more than 85% in 2018, venture capital interest in DeFi projects did not wane. Let me end the course by paraphrasing one of the endorsements of my book. It goes like this. DeFi, like the internet, will likely make financial services cheaper, faster, secure, personalized, and more. The future has yet to be written. This course provides a peek into it, and you, as a graduate, hold the power to create it. You hold the power to create this future.
join the revolution in finance. As with any revolution, it is not without risk. Take the risk. I hope this learning experience gives you the confidence to join. And please tell others.